Help support the North Omaha History Podcast by going to northomahahistory.com slash podcast, click on the Patreon icon, and become a patron for as little as a dollar a month. And we'd like to thank Jim Collison, Wanda Lewis, and Lori Schwartz for being patrons. Welcome to the North Omaha History Podcast with noted author and historian Adam Fletcher Sassy. Each week, Adam takes you on a guided tour through Omaha's dynamic past. Well, just like school districts everywhere, Omaha Public Schools has had the challenge of serving disengaged students ever since students were mandated to go to school by compulsory school law. In Nebraska, that year was 1887. After a few decades, the Fourth Street Special School for Encourageable Boys was their answer to the challenge these students posed. Adam, tell us more. You know, Steve, I'm a parent of a student in schools today. And one of the things that we've grown up with, uh, with my child, is all of this conversation around STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And this STEM conversation has been the hottest thing in schools for about 15 years. Uh, in, in my other life, I'm a school consultant, and I've worked with schools who are really focused on STEM, 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 science, technology, engineering, mathematics. They treat it like it's brand new. They, they think that it's just the greatest thing. The irony is that 100 years ago, the Omaha Public Schools were wrestling with how do they get enough students into their STEM program. They didn't call it that, but in reality, the Fort Street Special School for Incorrigible Boys was the place where STEM was happening in Omaha, Nebraska, in way back in 1914. So located right at 30th and Brown Streets, um, just a block south of Fort, there in the Miller Park neighborhood, the Omaha School District wanted to have a school where they could send delinquents, where they could send the bad kids, where they could send the kids that got kicked out or were dropping out or were leaving schools for any reason. And uh, keep, they wanted to keep them in schools. They wanted to get them some life skills so that they could be functionally employed in society. For 100 years, public schools were really seen as a place where that should happen, where everybody should gain the skills to be successful. And with that commitment, they opened up uh, a brand new learning environment. It was called a special school because you had to be assigned to go there. And it was for incorrigible boys. It was not for girls. And it was only for the incorrigible for those who were so given up on and who were so determined to leave regular schools that they needed to be sent to this special place. And so for the first year or two, they were sent. There are these beautiful pictures of the interior of this building uh, that show kids, young young men standing at uh, word presses, old-fashioned printing machines that where they line up the letters and print books and print flyers and make special things uh, that show them working using woodworking tools and building uh, desks and dressers and all kinds of things and showed them uh, doing metal work and, and all kinds of other manual training. Uh, they, they, they really learned how to design as well, uh, design buildings, design small things, design machines, and they did a lot of experimenting. A lot of the space was given over to the students and that, to allow them to figure out to learn whatever they wanted to. So it was a pretty exciting place that actually worked. It worked so well that it actually became a problem for the district because they were flooded with kids who wanted to go. Well, I heard from my cousin who got kicked out of school that this school is the best place, so I want to go there. Students were wanting to leave uh, Central High School, which was really the only Omaha high school at that point. They were wanting to leave there to attend this Fort Street Special School for Incorrigible Boys. Uh, And so they were asking the district to go. So the district let more and more students in. It started pretty small with less than 100 students, and then in uh, three or four years, It had 400 students and tiny buildings. There just wasn't a lot of space. So the district had a problem. That problem eventually was solved, though. During the same decade, the district had started a new school in the basement of Central High School, what we think of as Central today, which was then called Omaha High School, of course. Uh, In the basement of uh, Central High School was the Omaha Commercial High School. Now, Commercial High School was kind of the opposite of the Fort Street Special School for Incorrigible Boys. The commercial high school was generally for young women and some young men uh, who wanted to get into secretarial work or advertising work or other uh, commercial related enterprises, salesmanship, uh, store management, things like this. And commercial high school offered the skills training 
to help these students succeed. They learned typing, they learned sales, they learned all kinds of different things, diction and, and everything that you studied back in 1915 to get it going. That school became so popular that they opened up an entire commercial high school uh, in the old Franklin School building down in, just south of Dodge there. And uh, commercial high school was, was pretty popular and kept getting fuller and fuller. The Fort Street Special School for Encouraged Boys was popular and getting fuller and fuller. And so there was gigantic argument that went on in the Omaha School Board about we need a new high school. And so was born Technical High. Now, we'll get into Technical High in a different podcast, but the important part to know is that uh, the time came towards the end of the decade, 1919, 1920, where the Omaha School District decided to close down the Fort Street Special School for Incorrigible Boys and send all those students to a brand new high school. When that brand new high school was opened up, the Fort Street School was closed down, and yeah, they, they ended up reusing the building, interestingly enough. They reused the building to uh, shore up Minnelusa Elementary, a new elementary school that was in Minnelusa Boulevard right up in the Minnelusa neighborhood, and they used the buildings from the Fort Street School. In the meantime, uh, those boys from the Fort Street Special School moved down to the new technical high school, and that year was 1923. So that was the end of the Fort Street Special School for Incorrigible Boys. And honestly, Steve, I think it was forgotten for the next hundred years. The school district has lost the records for the Fort Street Special School for Incorrigible Boys, and there are just a few photos that are in existence. But that's enough for me to construct a little bit and share it today. It's, it was an exciting place when it existed, and I look forward to people learning more and asking questions about it when they get there. To ask Adam a question, go to the North Omaha History Facebook page. Thanks for listening to the North Omaha History Podcast with noted author and historian Adam Fletcher Sassy. Join us next week as Adam takes you on another guided tour through Omaha's dynamic past.